Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Joe, and I'm back, and I'm here to tell you guys about how I got into professional dunking and the journey it took me to get to where I am now, and you know all the obstacles I had to face and overcome to become. So after I you know, dropped out of so school, I decided get to started, get into y'all. professional dunking. So you know, I always you know go to gyms, practice my my dunk work, my skills, learn new dunks and everything like that. And when I first did my first event, it was for this team called Inspirational Hoops, then Team Flight Brothers. So when I did a Team Flight Brothers event, I met this guy named Chuck from, um, he's one of the guys who helps all the NBA guys with the NBA dunk contest. So, you know, he came to Massachusetts one day and, um, you know, he had an event and I ended up doing that event with him. So... When I did that event, I did, I did the event with another professional dunker. His name was Doug Anderson. And, you know, he had just recently did the um, college the college dunk contest for the NCAA, and he won that. So it was it was a um, cool way to get some exposure when I did that event. But um, after that event, I ended up pulling my groin, and I had a broken hand, so I hadn't dunked for about a couple months. So... I was just waiting for for the Dunk King TV show to air. So after I did TNT Dunk King, that's when I started getting a lot of other opportunities. You know, that's when I met, you know, one of my teammates who's also all the world famous Harlem Wizards too. So when I did this, I ended up hitting him up, you know, a few months after the show aired. And, you know, I asked him if I can get a spot on the team. And that's when I had my trial with the world famous Harlem Wizards, and you know that that was a good thing for me, cause you know I had hit up some other teams, but you know those other teams did not answer me back. So I was glad when when they hit me up, and then I started getting to work. But um. I met a lot of good guys with the Harlem Wizards. That's when I started really, you know, getting my dunk skills together because I was dunking every day. I was meeting a lot of new people, getting connections. But the Harlem Wizards, you know, show basketball. We do a lot of fun stuff, dunks, you know. It's a it's more like a fundraiser for families and everything. But, you know, after after doing those events, I got asked to do a bunch of different events. Like, um, I got asked to do celebrity games and stuff like that. Um, I got asked to do TV shows. So one thing about this dunk thing, you know, you get to network with a lot of people. So I did that, you know. Um, and I've just been doing it ever since. I enjoy it. Uh, but one of my main goals is to you know, keep progressing, you know, keep working and get to the the top level so I can, you know, start start getting some endorsements and stuff like that, you know. I think I've, I've been doing this for the past, past three years. So I'm just trying, you know, expand my brand and stuff like that, you know, travel the world. Go to a lot of the overseas dunk contests, and um, you know, just make a name for myself. But you know, other than dunking, I've also been modeling and stuff like that. Met up with Alan Iverson's former photographer Gary Land, and we just been working together doing projects. So I even did a game at my school too. But um, yeah, I can't wait to you know really level up in this dunk world and you know, reach the goals that I have set for myself. So once again, thank you for watching my other dunk video or, you know, my my second vlog video. I appreciate you guys. Hey, I just want to thank you guys for watching my second video on my vlog and, you know, Tell your friends about it. Hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait for for the next time to see you guys and, you know, make another video and let you guys 
see some more about me and get to know me a little bit more. So thank you again. And, you know, I'll see you guys next time.